When you look back at the last few years of your life, I wondered, is there anything that you would say to Noah before he departs and, you know, takes a trip on that ferry or that plane ride over to England in TY? Is there anything you would say to yourself at 15 or 16 before you do sign a contract or before you get into the football industry? That's kind of, uh, it's a tough one on both sides because you, when I look back of what I've done in football and I look back of the opportunities that may have come my way if I had been maybe a little bit more thoughtful about certain situation, you know, maybe taking a lot more chances and being a little bit more risk-orientated in certain situations, then you think, okay, maybe if there could have been different chances, but... On the other side of that, you kind of look on yourself like, okay, he, you've done the best that you could have done. Mm. And uh, in in this in this business, like that's the way I, I see it now, like it's something you love, but it's also a business. There's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, things that you, you don't see until you're in the game. Mm. And uh, one thing that I could have told my younger self is to study them before you get into the game. You know, study those the aspect of, you didn't see before you got in. If you had studied them a little bit, could have helped you a little bit, adapt a lot more quicker. And you could have, there's certain things that could have happened that you could have probably reacted completely different if you knew. Can you remember any of them off the top of your head, those little things that could have made such a big difference? Yeah, cool. like when you go over to England, like you, of course you're going to have to deal, like, diff- deal with different managers, you know, playing on different managers, for example. You know, every manager has got different a completely different view about you. You know, one manager will come and look at you differently, another manager will come and look at you differently. And when once you don't know those type of things, you you, you become a little bit vulnerable. And then there's uh, the business side of football. You know, the business side of football is a is uh, a side that a lot of people, a lot of young players don't don't really see until they get in there, and then they see the business side of football. And that is something that when once you come to realize certain things about the business side of football, then sometimes it can be a little bit too late.